What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to load test a battery to see if it's bad. Stay tuned. So before we start, you need to make sure that your battery is fully charged. So you either need to run the vehicle, you know, run it for a couple hours to charge the battery or put it on a battery charger until it's fully charged. If you load test a battery that is not fully charged, it will fail. So even good batteries will fail if it is not fully charged. So it's important that you have it fully charged before you do this test. I'm going to depress these two plastic tabs and then lift up, just kind of wiggle and pull that off of there. So that is gonna be so that we can gain access to our positive battery post here. A good battery static voltage should be around 12 and a half volts. As you see here, we're sitting at 12.6. So this battery should, in theory, be fully charged for us to load test. This vehicle has been having issues intermittently starting, so I suspect either the battery is failing or the alternator is not charging properly. So what we're gonna do is load test the battery and we're also gonna check for a draw. Now there's several different devices you can use for load testing a battery. A lot of the newer ones are digital. You can hook them up without even disconnecting the battery, but I prefer the old school analog one. And to get the most accurate reading, I do recommend disconnecting the battery. However, on newer vehicles like this 2018 Jeep Compass, you wanna have a memory saving device plugged into the OBD2 port. That way you don't lose all your battery data. Uh, newer vehicles can be very picky. If you disconnect the battery or replace the battery without power supplied to the OBD port to save the memory of everything, uh, you could replace the battery or disconnect it and then hook it back up and then have no power. So we don't want that to happen. Now there's several different devices and styles you can get of this. I got a 12 volt outlet one. It's just a memory saving device I got for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll try to link a few down below in the video description if you wanna buy them. But all you're gonna do is plug it in your OBD2 port under the dash here. It's a trapezoid shape. You can only plug in one way. And then this particular one has a 12 volt outlet. I am gonna hook that to my 12 volt portable battery here. Little jump pack. And then turn this on. There we go. Once we have this powered up, or if you have your battery saver cable connected to a 12 volt battery, either or, as long as it's connected to a constant power source, you should be good to disconnect the battery. Depending on your vehicle, the battery cable hardware may be different sizes. On this 2018 Jeep Compass, it is a 10 millimeter. I usually recommend removing the ground first, as if there's no ground, then it doesn't matter if there's any power, nothing can happen. Just gonna loosen that, wiggle up, and then we will loosen the positive and remove that. All right, make sure that the positive is not touching the positive post and the negative is not touching the negative post. Since disconnecting the battery, I checked voltage again and we're down from 12.6 to 12.0 already. So I have a feeling this is definitely gonna fail. This is a 2018, it's 2022 now, factory battery, about four years old, probably junk. As stated before, there's plenty of different styles, but I prefer the old school one like this where it actually load tests it. As you can see, I've got the red hooked to positive, the black hooked to negative. I recommend hooking the positive up first, then the ground, AKA the negative. And once we have it hooked up and we make sure uh, none of the connections, none of the cables are touching the battery, you can see we're floating right around 12 volts here. I'm going to load test it down for a few seconds and see what happens. Basically anything below 9 volts is considered bad. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Load testing it and you can see it drops down to 6 volts, which is considered okay if it's a 6 volt battery. But since it's a 12 volt battery, uh, that's considered to be bad. As you see, 8 volts is considered bad and we're well below that. So this battery uh, is weak. It's kind of weird though because... Uh, usually when batteries fail, it's in the cold in the winter time. Uh, last time the battery was checked, last oil change, it was actually tested really good. So kind of weird that it randomly failed, but yeah, this battery is bad. That's how you load test it. You want it to start at 12 and a half volts, and then it should come down to no lower than nine. And then once you release the load, it should come back up to that 12 plus volts. As you see, this one started at around 12, it dropped to six, and it's only coming back up to 11. So that is a bad battery. But again, it's very important that this needs to be charged first, because if this is not fully charged, it is gonna fail, even if it is a good battery. So 
So at this point, we can condemn the battery and replace it. And that is how I prefer to load test a battery. Like I said, there are several different options. This is the most tried and true way. Disconnect everything. That way there is nothing interfering. Old school analog carbon load tester and uh, just let her rip like that. So I'll post this, a couple different options down below, but hopefully this video helped you out guys to figure out how to load test a battery. If it did, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below with any questions. Check out my other videos here on YouTube and check me out on all my socials. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.